Fox 17 Rock and Review coming at you. My very talented friend, John Bollinger. You know, I've been trying to get him on the air with me for a while because I'm a big fan of his article in Premier Guitar Magazine, which is Last Call. It's like dessert in the back of the magazine right here. <laughs> they saved the best for last. And then uh, John also does, uh, you know, the music director for CMT, uh, music director for Nashville Star, if you remember that. And then he is the incredible sideman playing uh, pedal steel and mandolin for Lee Bryce. Well, I don't know if I'm incredible, but <laughs> Lee is incredible. And it's a it's a really fun gig. I love you know, that you job. guys always look for you know watching the videos and oh. everything when you're gigging on there. And you know, I always look for you because I know you. And it's like you guys have a great time on stage. Oh man, it is so much fun. <laughs> I mean, it is the it is truly like one big art project. Now you know we're going to talk some about your guitars, but I also want to talk about uh, the upcoming new album with Lee Bryce. You actually co-wrote a song with him. Yeah, I did. A song called "I Don't Smoke" that's uh, that we cut for the new record. I'm really excited about it. We, it was uh, myself and a couple of Lee's friends, and just wow. yeah. And when you came to Nashville originally, you came as a songwriter. Yeah, that was that was my goal. I was um, uh, this was like 22 years ago when drove, you were five years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, I drove down here in a '77 uh, VW micro bus with my wife and kid. And, you were styling. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Yeah, wild ride. Yeah, uh, and then, but you know it's so great that you've uh, you know all the things you're doing with Premier Guitar, you know, and with your music career with Lee Bryce and all the other, and you know studio work and everything yeah. else, and uh, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, well, I just I don't say no to anything. I, my battle cry is yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your schedule, we were talking. It's like, how do you keep up with a schedule like that? You uh, know, with on the road and you know. Yeah, it's every time I get home from touring with Lee, there's always like a stack of Premier Guitar things I have to review and then there's there's little gigs that come up and it, it just never ends but I'm but I'm terrified of an ending so I, I <laughs> so yeah I say yes to everything well, you know we were talking off camera John I thought it was so cool that you know besides you know all of your touring with Lee Bryce and he's so popular now and you do a great job with him is that you still go down on Broadway sometimes oh. and other places to sit in yeah and, and jam yeah. with people still right yeah if I've got a night off I'll do these you know tip gigs down on lower Broadway and play for four hours, just <laughs> play. Or sometimes I'll do two of them. I'll play for eight hours, just because. And, I and love all to for do a it. pickle jar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't care, man. I don't care. I just want to play. Well, you know, you brought in your uh, your Paul Reed Smith that we talked about earlier on the news, and uh, what a great guitar with this. Oh, it's such a great guitar. It's so much fun. It's like. Uh, and now, what model is this one? It's the SCJ. Okay. And this thing, it's like it's like Tabasco. You know, it goes Look at on that everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And with yeah. the bird inlay. And it's too cool that Paul was just a guy making guitars. Yeah. And now he's, you know, this 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 famous luthier and yeah. designer and, and really a, just a wildly talented guy. And that whole team over there is great. Oh, they really are. I'm, I'm so, you know, it's, it's great working with uh, Paul Reed Smith and their people. And you also brought one of your vintage pieces. I did, I did. Which we have right here next to me. Yeah, yeah, that is a 66 uh, Fender Strat that's all original. I feel like this is Wayne's World. It's like, don't, <laughs> don't look at it. It's like, no stairway to heaven on this one. <laughs> right. <laughs> The great thing, the cool thing about that guitar, it's the first year of the big headstock. And I, I didn't know why they switched, yeah. but apparently um, when it was bought out, that the first thing the company thought is, well, we need to, the headstock's where the logo goes, so we have to make that bigger. Right. So people know that it's ours. Yeah, when CBS bought them. Yeah. And, it, and some people aren't a fan of the bigger headstocks on, on these strats, but oh, I am. I love it, man. Yeah. I think you, you kind of get, I mean, I like the aesthetic of it, but I think you kind of get a little more sustain or whatever. It always makes me think of more of the Hendrix strats. Too, yeah, right? totally. It worked for Jimmy. Yeah, you know, it's so. got that whole vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's just a fun guitar, and it's wow. all stock. And I, I mean, some people leave their vintage guitars in a vault or whatever. Right. Man, I play with mine all the time. Well, I mean, especially like we were talking, you know, with you being on the road so much with Lee Bryce, and you're primarily playing, you know, pedal steel and mandolin. So when yeah. you get home. You've got incredible jazz chops, which I always <laughs> well, like hearing you on your videos. I'm like going, wow, how can I steal that lick from John, you know, and apply well, that in my guitar playing? Well, Eric, that's really nice <laughs> you say, but truly, I'm a master of none. I mean, in, in this town, you can order a pizza, and the guy delivering your pizza will, will probably play better than I do. <laughs> but you have a gig. Yeah, yeah exactly. Know? That's the main thing. Well, now, yeah. let's also uh, talk about now with Premier Guitar, uh, where can everybody keep up with your videos and your articles oh, and Oh, yeah, go to premierguitar.com, and you'll find everything there, and also our YouTube channel and Facebook. Everything's on there for PG. 
and be sure and subscribe. But let's also talk uh, to Premier Guitar. Let's talk about Lee Bryce too. Oh, I mean, keeping yeah. up with your tours. How can because you guys play the Opry and you're always on the oh, road. Right, we're on the Opry tomorrow, and we're um, we're Lee, last year with Lee, we played all 50 states in one year, and then we did a lot of Canada and Australia, and I mean, it is a working band. Pedal steel around the world. <laughs> Pedal steel around the world, right? <laughs> That could be your next album. Right. Yeah, why not? <laughs> well, be sure to check out my buddy, you know, whether he's writing articles, doing great premier guitar rig rundowns with people like Peter Frampton and everybody, right. or touring with Lee Bryce. Uh, be sure and see this guy on tour. He's an incredible talent. And uh, thanks for coming on the Rock and Review, Man, Jeff. thank you, Eric. This is great. All right. Take care, and thanks for watching.